afternoon, guys. Actually, it's funny saying that because it's really morning, it's Sunday morning. But you guys are gonna see it on Friday at six-ish. We're traveling right now. We're heading to Columbus, Indiana to pick up some parts for the old Silverado. What parts, you might ask? Well, we're getting a block. We're getting a couple rotating assemblies. And I know it's already got an engine in there. It's already got a 5.3, Gen 3 5.3, actually. It's not a bad motor. It's just gonna make it easier for me to build this one and still play with the truck on the side and not have it down while I'm building this one up. Because I've already got most of the other parts for the for this engine. I just didn't have a I just didn't have a short block. So we'll get to do a build on it, clean it up, make it look nice. I'm sure nobody cares what it looks like. I do. But most people just care about going fast. Anyway, I gotta look good while going fast. Oh, Billy! And all these people past me right now probably think, what's this guy doing talking on his camera? Talking to his camera. Anyway, we're cruising along. We're uh, listening to some old Boosted Motorsports, Kyle Williams. What you guys saw you guys looking at my crotch. You filthy animals. We're gonna keep traveling along. We got a little bit of a drive left and we'll pick back up with you after we get the parts. Not anything real exciting, but it'll make a somewhat decent video, I think. Catch you there. All right guys, I'm not gonna show you his house or anything like that, do any recording here really, but we'll get the block. Got the two cranks in there, and we got the pistons in the back seat. So let's get back to the shop. All right, guys, we're gonna make a quick pit stop, uh, stopping at O'Reilly's to get us some um, oil. We're just gonna spray something on it so that it doesn't get rusty. I don't think it will, but we want to minimize that risk. So we're gonna grab some oil real quick and uh, spray that on the block and on the crankshafts when we get back to the shop. Do it, baby! I don't think I'm gonna need to put them on the, the pistons, the the rods. They might get a little bit of surface rust on them. It's not a big deal. I'm gonna clean all that up anyway. So I'm not too worried about that. And uh, we might we might post this video up today. We'll see, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, since I didn't post anything on Friday, we might just go ahead and post it early and then post something on Friday to catch back up, get us back on our on track to doing one video a week. We'll see. All right guys, we had to make a pit stop to get some fuel for the body, not for the truck. So we pulled into old Fat Donald's. Good stuff, right? You can get spicy nuggies now? There's a strip club over there. The boss will kill me. Are you going to want your seat today? Nah. I'm not going to see you today. Thanks, you too. That girl wanted me. Yeah, boy! Bet the boss will never let me eat here again now. Thank you. Thanks. Have a nice day. You too. See you guys looking at my butt. That's two crank shafts. It's 
So now I'm gonna give it a quick coat of WD-40. That's what she said. We'll bag it up and I'm gonna get it hot tanked to get it cleaned up. But man, it looks, it looks pretty good. Actually. Don't look bad, boys. Don't look bad. Got a good coat on it. Nothing too crazy. And we're gonna bag it up. Do it, baby. Push this out of the way. crank actually looks like it's got plenty of oil on it. That's what she said. But we're gonna put a we're gonna put a coat on it real quick. You guys can't see. Focus. That berry looks pretty damn good. Not bad. <laughs> anyway, in a in a later video, we're gonna start cleaning all these up and uh, get everything prepped for the rebuild process, which I'm really looking forward to. I've I wasn't planning on rebuilding the bottom end on the one in this truck. So, I've never done it, and I've always wanted to. So now I get the opportunity. I am, I'm stoked. It's gonna be awesome. So go easy on me guys, if I do something or say something wrong, just let me know, no big deal. Not a big deal. Nice. So to recap guys, I got two cranks, they're both from Gen 353. Three. I got a block. It's a Gen 453 block. And I got a bunch of pistons. It was only supposed to be 16. I got more than that. I haven't I haven't counted them all. I know in one box I've got like 13, 14 of them. And the other box has more than that in it. So I've got plenty of pistons to play with, if you know what I mean. Yeah, boy! I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Quick and simple, but it's I'm just kind of getting back into things since being sick. Like I said, this is the most I've been up. But I will catch you guys in the next video. See ya!